Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2154, Mark Linked Formulas. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jell, and today, a uh, way to see which cells are formula cells and which cells are linked formula cells. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're, we have some data here, and I just put a lot of 1, 2, 3, 4s in here. Uh, Q1 and Q2, those are uh, some cells that go across, and then I also have just a bunch of random formulas that I put in here. And actually, let's down at the bottom, let's put a total row in. So here we'll choose all those cells and we can put the auto sum in at one fell swoop. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up to A1, select all of our data, and note that A1 is the active cell. That's really important as we set this up. Conditional formatting, create a new rule, uh, use a formula, and we're going to say equal is formula of A1. Now, is formula is brand new in Excel 2013. If you're still using Excel 2010 or Excel 2007, uh, this is not going to work for you. Time to upgrade to Office 365. We'll choose a blue font. Uh, for anything that has a formula like that, right? See, so all the formula cells become highlighted. Ah, but this tip from Craig Brody. Craig is a uh, frequent contributor, uh, and uh, he says, hey, there's a way that you can mark only the cells that are linked cells. In other words, are we getting the data from another worksheet or another workbook? So we'll do conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, and here's the formula we're going to use equal, well actually let's start from the inside out, we're going to say whether we're going to find an exclamation point in the formula, formula text is another new in Excel 2013 of A1 and what this is going to do is it's going to look through the formula, look for the exclamation point and tell us where it is, if it's there it's going to be a number, a number position like so the exclamation points in the 7th or 14th or 15th position but if it's not there it returns an error so now we need to detect the error and so, uh, we could say uh, equal is error um, and then put it, that whole thing in a not or uh, right here what Craig's suggestion was is is number open parenthesis and then click out here and write parenthesis like that and then we'll make those have a font color of orange click OK and click OK. By the way, hey, I was about to press the right arrow key to move through here uh, and when you do that it starts inserting cell references in. Just press F2 uh, before you do that and then that ready changes to edit and you're allowed to move left and right. Click OK. All right, and so now all of the cells that have external links uh, to another worksheet or another workbook are marked in orange. All the regular formula cells are marked in blue. Cool, cool trick there. Now, hey, let's take Craig's trick and extend it a little bit. So, Craig's trick is counting on the fact that every uh, link to an external worksheet has the exclamation point. What about links to external workbooks? Well, they always have a right square bracket. All right, so let's select our data, control asterisk, and we will do conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula, and I'll paste in the last formula. All right, see, now this is where I need to change that exclamation point to a right square bracket. So, right now I'm in enter mode and if I press the left arrow key see it starts giving me cell references which is really really annoying uh, so instead press the F2 key and down here enter will change to edit now I'm able to use the left and right arrow keys as much as I want look for the right square bracket we'll change these to a white font with a red fill like that click OK click OK and there are external links to external workbooks uh, will show up in red like that. All right, well, hey, my new book, Power Excel with Mr. Excel, the 2017 edition, 617 Excel Mystery Solved. Click that eye in the top right hand corner to check out uh, how you can buy this book. I'll wrap up today. So, we're using conditional formatting to mark formula cells. Uh, just to mark any cell that has a formula, we use new rule, use a formula, equal is formula A1. Uh, but thanks to Craig Brody, mark formula cells that are links to other sheets. We use is number, look for that exclamation point, formula text of A1, and then I extended that to point to external workbooks, is number, look for the right square bracket. All right, a few other tips, uh, you can use auto, auto sum in several cells at once, or uh, when you're editing a formula in the conditional formatting dialog box, or in the, the name manager, and you press the arrow keys to move, it's going to insert cell references. Uh, to prevent this, use F2 to change to enter, change from enter mode to edit mode. Oh, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.